detailed. Okay? Type 1 occurs, <coughs> it is mostly said that it occurs due to what? That the uh, system or the body develops autoantibodies against the beta cells of islet of Langerhans and the pancreas. Okay? It's a disease, okay? Disease that hits the beta cells. Auto, of course, you are familiar with autoimmune disease, yes? So, uh, and that's why type 1 is uh, detected by the presence of a variety of autoantibodies, okay? Such as something known as insulin antibodies, okay? And um, glutamic acid uh, decarboxylase antibodies, okay? What's glutamic acid decarboxylase? What's the function of this time? When we de when we remove a carbon dioxide molecule from Glutamic acid, what do we get? Anybody know? Raise your voice, it's okay to say something. No. No, we get GABA. GABA. Okay? GABA. It's a neurotransmitter. Okay? GABA. GABA mind Okay? We get GABA. And uh, this part is very interesting. Okay, I'll tell you just a few words on it. It's not in your books, and you, you don't have to know it, but this is interesting because this, these specific antibodies are associated with a condition known as Do I, do I lack insulin or do I not lack insulin? Okay. 
the person who knows Italy is there. Actually, it's, it's, it could work very well, but there is resistance to this action. Okay? Problems in the receptor or post receptor events. Okay? So actually, the production is quite good. Even the production is increased to overcome this resistance. Okay? But then at some point, if the condition is long standing and there is no treatment, I developed type 2 diabetes, which at the end, the beta cells are exhausted. Okay? So there would be uh, less production of this. But this is a uh, long, um, long course of the disease. Okay? But initially, insulin level uh, in the blood is normal or even high. Okay? This is totally different from type 1 because type 1 I have no, it, I almost have no insulin production by the animals. Okay? How about treatment? I treat the cause. Type 1, I have no insulin, I provide it. Okay? How about type 2? Type 2 usually help insulin action. And how do you help or enhance the action of insulin that is supposedly already there? You can do your diet, you do some physical activity, and you give drugs that help overcome the, uh, which are the oral drugs. Okay? Overcome the and you will notice next time. Okay? So this is this is concerning type 1 and type 2 diabetes. It's very simple. How about the other type of type diabetes mellitus, which is gestational diabetes mellitus or diabetes related to pregnancy? Okay? This of course its onset is during pregnancy. Okay, so far, surprise. Uh, and why do you think this happens? What are the cause? Okay, because the placenta produces hormones. Okay, no, the placenta produces hormones that um, oppose, okay, the action of insulin. This condition usually resolves after pregnancy. Okay, after the cause disappears. However, a few women, you women who um, develop gestation diabetes mellitus are more prone to uh, develop type 2 diabetes mellitus. Okay? This is concerning gestational diabetes Are there other causes of diabetes? Other causes. We said diabetes is a metabolic disorder characterized by hyperglycemia and decreased glucose <coughs> tolerance, okay? As I said, blood glucose homeostasis depends on the balance, the balance. Balance is the magic word in, in general, and of course in the cases of diabetes. Balance between insulin hormone, the hypoglycemic hormone, okay, which promotes glucose entry into the cells and its, and their, and its consumption, versus <coughs> anti-insulin hormones, okay? The bundle of anti-insulin hormones, which are hyperglycemic hormones, okay? And the balance between them is what we, what makes the glucose um, homeostasis fall. Okay, so how about over conditions where, are the, where there are overproduction of anti-insulin hormones? Yes, the increase, yes, in, in stress, okay? <laughs> Uh, a very obvious condition, I don't know what to put here actually, is the removal of the pancreas. No beta cells. Okay? No insulin. Diabetes. Okay? Another condition is hemochromatosis. Hemochromatosis. Heme, as you know, is iron. Okay? Heme is iron. This is, uh, to tell you a quick word about it, hemochromatosis is a disease, genetic disease. Okay? In which there is uh, increased absorption of iron. Okay? The body absorbs iron at a rate higher than normal people do. Okay? And then this iron is deposited, deposited in different organs, such as the liver, the heart, and and the pancreas. Okay? Therefore, it affects their function or even damages its function in case of uh, diabetes. Okay. And then finally, we have drugs that may induce diabetes, such as the 
diuretics. You know, people who have hypertension, okay, they take what? They take diuretics. One type especially, the thiazide diuretics, okay? Thiazide diuretics. Or are also or may also be a cause, although not neutral, okay? <coughs> not too much. And uh, adrenergic agonists, adrenergic agonists, such as people taking um, drugs, okay, that promote, uh, that, that relieve bronchospasm. You know, bronchospasm, asthma on the whole life, yes? Okay, <laughs> you have asthma and so They take the beta adrenergic agonists, such as the drug known as cytobutamol. Why is this so much good? Take a look uh, at an organ approach, organ 
mycelium. Okay? And of course, the organ that we mostly talked about would be the liver. Okay? So, what happens in the liver? Glucose uptake is decreased. Yes? So, therefore, glucose oxidation is decreased. Glycogen increases. Yes, and insulin promoted the action. 
action of this enzyme. Okay. <laughs> and it was responsible for what? Lipase protein. Okay. Regulation of? Yes, of the uh, of the lipids present in the lipoproteins. Okay. So the net result would be increasing policies and release of free fatty acids, which then are shunted to where to the liver. Okay. So if you would like, to begin with the adipose tissue. What goes wrong in the adipose tissue, and from there you can go to the liver, because it would make sense. Okay. <coughs> How about the muscles? Okay. They cannot consume, as I said, muscles. Atherosclerosis, okay? Atherosclerosis uh, develops, and atherosclerosis carries another risk with it, which is emboli development, and uh, you know, you know, when atherosclerosis develops, you have this is the normal uh, human of the blood vessel, yes? Atherosclerosis, deposition of cholesterol esters, and other lipids. What happens to more is like it is elevated, so the flow of blood decreases. Yes, so it decreases, yeah. And eventually, there may be development of what? Of the thrombus, yeah? So, closure of the blood supply. Blood supply means what? Means oxygen, nutrients, etc. Needed for the muscle. <coughs> therefore, yeah. Therefore, the uh, development of what? Muscle death, maybe like the fixed condition of what? My cardiac infarction. Yes. This is why my simple uh, weight put on my cardiac infarction develops. <coughs> you get, may get strokes, okay, because this happens globally, all around the body, okay? The arterial walls, of course, uh, I have to say here that not just one in the blood vessel is blocked that you get uh, this effect, okay? So, uh, you may develop uh, some uh, strokes and so on. Okay, so one of the famous complications that you should not omit or forget in diabetes are the what? Are yeah, are its effects generally on the blood vessels? Okay, whether the, they are this effect is on the big blood vessels? Okay, macro effects, big effects? Okay, or the small blood vessels? Okay, the micro effect, macro. And the micro effects. And since uh, blood vessels are affected, almost every part of the body <laughs> may be affected, may be damaged, almost every organ. Okay? These microvascular changes are uh, maybe associated with the uh, infection of the retina. They depend on condition both retinopathy or neuropathy, nerves. Okay? That's why the sensation. 
location in the uh, uh, periphery, periphery of hands and feet is affected in, in long-standing diabetes. Okay? Uh, we may get neuropathy, nephropathy, affection on the kidney is called as a famous condition. Okay? And when the kidney is affected, things that are usually uh, retained in the body, they are lost in the Okay, such as the big protein and what? Abdomen. Yeah, such as abdomen. Okay? So you think, when you're thinking diabetes, you think global. It's the whole body affected. Okay? <coughs> How about urine? What happens in urine? Since, uh, of course, uh, in diabetes, the renal threshold is how, how much is the renal threshold? About 800 days. Yes. 180 milligrams per deciliter. Okay? In diabetes, the <coughs> cause level may be raised above that. So it goes where? In your urine. And where the sugar passes, and what passes with it? Water. Water. Yes. Therefore, these patients have a poly urea. When water passes, okay, stimulation of uh, the body is good. The body is smart, okay? So it has to increase its say income of the two. So what happens? First, first, yes. So polyuria and polydipsy. Okay? Polyuria and polydipsy. And does water pass along or does it take with it some electrolytes? It takes some electrolytes. Okay? Such as sodium and potassium. Okay? And insulin by the way has a special effect on potassium because it promotes the entrance of potassium into the cells. Okay? So this function is also uh, disrupted in case of diabetes. And how about uh, the proteins in uh, urine? Protein and NPN. What are NPNs? Non-protein nitrogenous compounds. Okay? They may come from the breakdown of proteins, such as what? Urea. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. You know these? Yeah. yeah. I think you took. But we're going to take them. Next, uh, next slide. Okay. Okay. And of course, in two bodies which are already elevated in the blood, we may have a condition if the diabetes is un uncontrolled. Okay, we may have a condition called ketosis. And ketone bodies are acids. Okay. So the body may develop acidosis. Okay. The pH of the urine may be more acidic. The complications and uh, the comas and so we're going to take tomorrow and the day after this tomorrow. Okay? So I think we covered almost uh, everything here. So the complications of diabetes, atherosclerosis, hypertension, uh, infarctions, death, cataract. Cataract is related to the islands and we're going to take this tomorrow and we'll here. Retinopathy, nephropathy, and no. So they may be related to you can categorize them into macrovascular conditions, okay? The ones that affect uh, the, the they lead to atherosclerosis and from Y and uh, which leads to infarction and uh, strokes and so and so. And the small blood vessels or the microvascular effect that is related, it's present everywhere, remember, blood vessels are present everywhere in our body, okay? So a patient develops uh, retina problems, nerve problems and uh, kidney problems. These are the most uh, infamous problems of uh, diabetes and diabetes. Okay, uh, I think we need to be able to answer one of these.